Hi, Karen. So I took a peek at your site, and I definitely um, feel that the site does not have the proper on-site optimization at all. And I'm going to show you why. The first thing that I did when uh, you sent your you sent me the email this morning is I went ahead and I did some research for Queen Creek. And I looked up what the keywords are that people are actually typing in. I created this little handy dandy document for you and color coded it. And I have basically co coded this for the keywords that I think are going to be the most uh, advantageous for you. So when I look at keywords, I'm thinking about what kind of client I'm going to bring to your site by using that keyword. And I feel when somebody puts in the words homes for sale that they are a really good client for you. That's going to be a really good lead coming to your site because they're looking for homes for sale. They, they're looking for exactly what it is that you have. So if homes for sale is in the keyword, it's going to be a very good keyword. So you can see what I've done here is I have actually highlighted the yellow keywords that I think are the best keywords for your primary site, for the, the home page, the, the main keywords overall. And those keywords start out with Homes for Sale and Queen Creek AZ, which I feel is the biggest keyword in your area and gets over 480 searches monthly. So that's exact. That's the exact number of searches. So that's, this would be my number one. A keyword right here. The next one will be Queen Creek Homes for Sale. Homes for Sale Queen Creek AZ um, and then actually this is like a duplicate and then um, going down further you can see all of the ones that are marked in the blue. So I would pick out two to three of these depending on the length of the term for the title. I would pick out ten for the keywords and I would use the first three in the description for your meta tags. Now what I mean by that is when I go to the source of your site and I'm actually on the wrong one, right click and view page source, I'm looking for your meta tags. This is your first meta tag. Your first keyword is Queen Creek AZ Homes for Sale and then Houses in Queen Creek, Arizona for Sale. Now when you look at my document you're going to notice that I also broke this up into different categories. The ones that are in the blue and also in yellow are ones that I would use for your home site, for your main home site. And then the ones that are in green have to do with the keyword real estate. The ones that are in pink have to do with houses for sale. And the ones in red are other niche phrases, let's say. So with your current optimization, they're using two different types, homes for sale and then houses in. And I would stick to just one of those two for the home page for each page. In fact, you really want to stick to one uh, similar keyword term or variations of the similar term because that helps your optimization greatly and on that page. So it makes sense to do that. Uh, with the site right now as it currently stands, Queen Creek AZ Homes for Sale is right here. This is the main keyword that you're using which it, only, it has a higher competition than the biggest one and only gets 91 global monthly searches a month. And then the second one that they're using, Houses in Queen Creek, Arizona for sale, it's not even a keyword. Nobody's even searching for that term. It would be Houses for sale in Queen Creek, Arizona, but not Houses in Queen Creek, Arizona for sale. So this is just your title that I'm looking at right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for your description. And this is your meta description. Um, the first thing that I would put would be the main keyword. They have search Queen Creek AZ Homes for Sale. So they are using that in the beginning. Um, they are using real estate for sale in Queen Creek. And Let's see if that's a good keyword. Not a good keyword. And let's see. And then they also added Suntan Valley. Um, your keywords, you have only two. Again, I would use 10 different keywords of the variation homes for sale in this section. I don't know why there's only two, but that's not enough. So I would use 10 in there. Now, that's just the three items, just the meta tags. And when I'm looking at your site, there's a lot of things that I'm missing. The images don't have alt tags on them. The links don't have alt tags on them. 
the main keyword, the header one, which is right here, is different. Real estate for sale in Queen Creek, Arizona, which you already know isn't a good keyword. Um, but it's also different from the primary keyword, which is the very first one in your title. And again, it should be the first word here. It should be the first word here. And it should be the first word here. In all three meta tags, it should be the first one. And that's a totally different keyword. So, and I can actually show you. Let's do a search and see if that keyword even gets any searches. And it has nothing. There it is right there, zeros. So that's kind of useless. It doesn't help. Next, I don't see any keywords bolded out in your uh, home page. Although you do have keywords in your writing, like this one for instance. It's not bolded. So it's not going to really help you. It needs to be bolded. You need to have some links in there. You need to have some pictures. Your pictures should be optimized things like that. This is another header. Um, it could be another keyword that you're using in there. I mean, there's a lot of optimization missing off of your home page. Uh, here's another header. There's your there's the homes for sale in Queen Creek, Arizona, which is again different from what you have here, here, and in all of your other meta tags. And there's lots of keywords in here again that could be bolded that aren't. So more information in here that could be added. And then at the bottom of your site, I don't see um, a sitemap and I don't see any links in your footer that go to these pages. These are your niche pages and you can really get a lot of play off of these pages by putting the proper optimization on them. So that's just your home page. Those are the things that I've noticed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I've actually opened up a couple of pages. I've opened up new homes and I've opened up homes in foreclosure and then I opened up two of your little subdivisions just to check things out. I'm just spot checking. I'm throwing things out there, just kind of guessing on pages. I know that there's a foreclosure keyword in Queen Creek that I could use and new home for sure. So that's why I picked those two. I have no idea if there's, I, when I clicked on these, I had no idea if there was any keywords for these areas. So starting with new homes, I'm seeing the same thing. Uh, the, the keyword at the top is wrong. The keyword up here, new homes in Queen Creek AZ is wrong. The keywords that I looked up, um, new homes, are going to be, let's see, New Homes, Queen Creek, Arizona. That's the first one in red, and this is the same keyword, sorry. And then also Queen Creek, New Homes. So there's two good keywords for the New Homes niche, and when you come here, neither one of those are used on this page. They're not in the description at all. So if we go to the view source, oops. new home in Queen Creek AZ, Queen Creek AZ new construction houses for sale. Let's check them. So new homes in Queen Creek AZ does get 73 searches a month. Queen Creek AZ new construction houses for sale, nothing. But there are several other keywords that you could use. So that's not being used. The page doesn't have the on-site optimization. Um, it doesn't have the keywords. It doesn't have any images optimi optimized or any links or anything. And there's lots of great keyword content in here that we could add that stuff in there. So not there. Um, now we're on the foreclosure page. Again, we're going to view source. We're going to grab these two keywords. Again, these two are the most important ones. So whenever somebody puts those in the title, those two should be your big bangers right there. Search. And we have two zeros. Now I know that there is a foreclosure keyword because I found one. And it is we go. Queen Creek foreclosures right there. 12 people a month search it. That should be used, but it's not. It's not on the page. So again, that kind of, you know, hurts this page. So having that the right keywords in here, it's there's none in here.
they're not here. So, and then I went and I did the same thing with Cortina and Montalina. I looked up their keywords, and again, I got zeros on those guys. Um, I pulled them all up right here. Here's the searches that they use for Cortina. Nothing. Um, Montalina. Again, nothing. So, you know, these are these just out of all the search ones I found. The only one that had one good keyword was new homes in Queen Creek, and that was 73. So just those small items I was very concerned about when it comes to on-site SEO when you said that that was what your company was supposed to do, because those things are all missing from your site. And if this is a WordPress site, then there's, oh, this is Dynamic Page Solutions. Okay. So there's a lot more things that you can add into these pages. And then what I would do is when I do my research, you're bound to come up with some different niches that you can use. Homes for rent, rental homes, um, new homes. Here's the new homes again, right there. Um, you have the Queen Creek map, Johnson Ranch, Queen Creek AZ. Somebody's looking up homes there. So that should be a page. That should be one of your pages that you're, you're doing. Um, you should have a page that is for real using the keyword real estate another one that's homes well homes for sale should be your main one another one for houses for sale so these are and then you have Queen Creek Realtor so when I go to about you this should be Queen Creek Realtor if you're looking for a Queen Creek, Creek Realtor you should have these keywords in there they should be there because you are a Queen Creek Realtor and people are searching for Queen Creek Realtor so and Queen Creek Realtors. So Queen Creek Queen, Queen Creek MLS should be a keyword in there. Queen Creek Realty is a keyword you can use. The more you know about your area, look up all these different little um, you know golf course homes. And here's Johnson Ranch, for instance. What was it? It was Johnson Ranch Queen Creek AZ. And this is homes for sale in Johnson Ranch San Tan Valley AZ. It's not even this the proper keyword. So these are the things that I'm noticing in the back end. I'm not really sure what's uh, what you have going on. If you have Google Analytics, if you hook this up with Google Webmaster or Bing Webmaster, um, if you've submitted your site map, if you are tracking this site at all. But these are the things that you really should be looking at and for on-site SEO to make sure that your site has the proper optimization on it, so that when Google looks at your site, it says, "Aha." This site is about Johnson Ranch Queen Creek Homes for Sale. And when somebody types that in, because we know people are, they're going to find your page about Johnson Ranch. And again, on all the other pages. So that's my uh, quickie on your website. Hope to talk to you soon. My number, 517-917-0582. If you have any questions.